Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to be answering ICT paper 3, June 2018. So the question is as follows. Tax B. This tax will require a workbook named Meeting found in the candidate folder. The spreadsheet shown a trip and loan table of a small group of people. You are called to summarize the records at the end of the year by using spreadsheet formula to make calculation. One, open this meeting spreadsheet that's one map so they always give you the candidate folder and the candidate folder is always found on your desktop so just come to your desktop here's our candidate folder we'll open our candidate folder and we'll see what the spreadsheet meeting so just to open it we we'll have one map okay we'll move on to the next question two insert borders in the area containing the table so this is insert borders in the area containing the table so these are table so we'll select all the area select all the area to select we we'll go to the first cell we we'll left click and we we'll drag our mouse so we select and we we'll come down to the font type font down to the font type which you will see this which is what borders bottom borders so we'll click here and we'll take what all borders so you put all borders on the area of the table okay that was also two marks the next insert the formula in f column to calculate the difference which is calculated by subtracting the loan from the savings so here the action to calculate the difference and it's for us to get the difference. What do we do? We take the savings and we remove the loan from inside. So that will just be what that will be the saving minus what the loan. So we go to our spreadsheet. We say we calculate the, the difference. So the difference will be what? So here, if we want to write the formula, we start the word and equals to sign. So equals to what the savings minus minus what minus the loan and we press enter. So we we'll go to the next. If you write the formula you have in F5 in the line below, so they want us to do all for all the cells. So to do it for all the cells, what do we do? We just come here and we drop for all. So it gives us what? It gives us the difference for all the cells. So now they ask us to calculate the um, write the formula of cell F5. So yeah, F5 the formula is equals to what? C5 minus what? D5. Always make sure that when you're writing it, even on your candidate folder or your candidate booklet, you always put your equals to. If you don't put it, it will be wrong. Okay, we'll move on to the next question. Question four. Insert a formula in the G column to calculate the simple interest, which is 5% of the loan. So to calculate the simple interest, you just take what 5% of the loan. Write your formula you have in G2 in the line below. So we'll come here to calculate the simple interest. This is 5% of it equals to what? 5 what percent of what? Of means times of the loan. And the loan is which cell? The loan is cell d2 five percent of the loan and we press enter to calculate what the simple interest and so to write the formula that we use on um, in cell g2 so the formula we use is what equals to five percent times what the loan which is what d2 we press enter and we'll do the same for all okay we move we move to the next question five the bonus is calculated on two factors those having savings greater than 25,000 and loans less than savings and loans less than savings get 10% of the difference as bonus, else zero bonus. Write the formula you will use to calculate the bonus of Moto John in I2. So here we have two conditions to check. We have to first check if the savings is what greater than 25,000. And if what if the loan is less than what if the loan is less than the savings, we can we do a 10% of the difference to give us the bonus. Else, if the, one of the conditions are not held, we give we, we, we will replace what zero. Let's go to our Excel sheet. So in this cell, we want to calculate the bonus of motor John. We start with an equals to sign. So as we have two conditions here to verify, we use the we, we use the formula and and. For two conditions and and here it we also have um two um, we have two conditions to verify and two decisions to make because if the condition is not valid what do we do we give him zero if it's valid what do we do um we calculate what 10 percent of the difference so here we use an if if statement when we have two decisions to make we use what and if so say if what now we put our condition so as we have two conditions we say and if and the savings, they say the savings, if the savings is less than 
there's our 25,000. So for the and you just put comma and what and the loans if the savings part is, is greater than it is if the savings that C2 is greater than 25,000 and the loans and the loans is less than the saving. And the loan is less than the saving. What should we do? So first look at our bracket. So yeah, this this is how we use and we can't come and put um, um ampere signs in between here. It will not work. So use the and function. We call it. So if we have two conditions like the saving greater than twenty five thousand and the the loan less than what the savings. How do we put it? We we'll put the and function outside. I will put the two conditions inside. So put that with what a comma. So let's go back to the equation. You see the bonus is calculated in two factors. Those who who savings are greater than twenty five thousand and loans less than their savings get what ten percent of the difference. So if this statement is true, what should we do? We should do ten percent of what of the difference. Do ten percent of the difference. Else, if the statement is false, what should we do? It returns zero. So that's it. Press enter, and then we do for all. Okay, so we should write the formula that we use in, in cell I2. So come to I2. What's the formula? So here's the formula. So this is what we we'll copy in our formula booklet. Okay, we we'll move to the next question. That's um question six. Inside the formula to calculate, inside the formula in column J to calculate the balance for all members, write the formula you will use to calculate the balance for Moto John in J2. Use the fact that the positive sign on the field name indicate benefits to the member, while the negative sign indicates a deduction to calculate the balance. Okay, let's go to our spreadsheet. So yeah, if you want to look clearly on our spreadsheet, on their fee names, saving, you have plus, loan, minus, um, difference, um, simple interest, minus, um, interest from loan, plus, bonus, plus. So yeah, that's what we should use these signs to calculate what? The balance. So what will be the balance? The balance will be the savings minus the loans minus the simple interest plus the interest from the loans plus what? The bonus. But now, yeah, the savings minus the loan, would you have it, which is what? The difference. So just take the difference, what? Here we have the sign minus, minus what? Minus, oh, I'm, I'll put that, I'll put better than underscore, minus what? The simple interest. Here we have a plus, means this is what? Plus, plus the interest from, from loan. Here we have a plus, that's also plus the word, the bonus. And it gives us, press enter, it gives us our balance. We track it all. We do the same thing for all. Okay. They say, yeah, write the formula you will, you will use. To calculate the bonus of Moto John in J2. So just come to J2 here and copy the formula that you use. That's F9 minus, um, you come to J2 and write the formula. That's F2 minus J2 plus H2 plus I2. Okay, we'll move to the next question. Inside a total for all columns along row 10, write the formula in J10 in the line below. So here the social calculate what? The total. The, the, so we should calculate the total in all of the rows and we should write the formula. And we should write the formula that we use in cell J10. So they say in this row we should calculate the total of everything. So to calculate the total, there are many methods. I will use the simplest method, which is what, what the auto sum. I just click on auto sum and press enter. It calculates it. And then I drag it for all. And I have the total for everybody, for each field name. So now the asking us to guide the formula that we use in what cell uh, J, J10. So this is the formula. Equals what sum J2 to J9. So we're summing from what J2 up to what J9. So that's the formula that we write in. And that was all about the Excel, the spreadsheet part of 2018. Please, if you learned something new in this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. You can also comment on any other year that you want us to answer for any particular thing that you don't understand and you want us to make an explanatory video on it. Yeah, thank you.